Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at another LOS based ROM for our Redmi Note 5, the Redmi 5 Plus, which is the AICP 13.1, uh, which is based on Android 8.1.0 Oreo and not the Pi. So, yeah, it's for the single cam variant. And in this video, I'm going to review this. So, yeah. So, guys, it has this Lineage OS stock launcher, uh, it's present in the Lineage OS. And we have all of the options present, whatever there were in the Lineage OS. Now all of the same apps are present and icons as you can see, totally same. So the apps and all the LOS icons are present. Now guys, moving into the settings, into the about, uh, sorry, it's the system, into the about phone. Here we can see ASCP experience, ASCP Oreo edition 13.1 with Android 8.1.2 Oreo and the latest September patch. So it has a September 5 security patch. Also the kernel version is the new Dark Ages Altera So Tercero sorry Altera Cero and you can see the settings is also enforced. Now let's take a look at the features presented in the AICP. Now AICP has all of the options which are available in the Lineage OS as present here. You can see uh, the display and all the stuff. Also into the system if you go to developer options you have this advanced restart so you can just uh, press this restart and you can go into recovery boot lower restart the system you are just restart the system which is a reboot option and now we have uh, oh sorry we also get the system ui tuner we have the status bar options uh, available do not disturb navigation bar and the lock screen so as this is aicp we have aicp extras loaded as you can see you can customize the hardware button stuff the navigation recent status bar notification all of this stuff and let me take a uh, let us take a look at this in a short uh, notice let's uh, let me show you all of this stuff so into the navigation we get all this swipe up gestures too so they work really well uh, recent uh, here we have the recent stuff we have the open switch as well as flame recent and with the status bar we have the status bar stuff you can customize it so 4g volte then we have this notifications uh, all the stuff quick settings uh, you can you don't have the blur option but yep we have this panel pawn you have this women power menu panel you have this weather you can customize the weather options we have other ui tricks like show cpu info and toast icon we have the animations and also here is the option to enable or disable the android p animations we have the system behavior we have the system extension so yeah you can use it on your own and we have here some little information about the aicp custom rom and all of the team and we have this ae customization which is like the theme and stuff so we have this more color light light with more color dark with more color and we have the show launcher icon so if you disable this just the aicp extras thing will disappear from here so yeah you can see, see it won't work it means it will disable from here the icon yeah now it's so guys this rom has fingerprint as well as face unlock support which is the auto face unlock let's take a look at the fingerprint first and so it's pretty easy but uh, easy to unlock but it's not that fast okay that's cool so it unlocks in first but it doesn't unlock that faster we also have the auto face unlock so let's uh, take a look uh, so the so this is how fast it unlocks sorry for that okay real cool okay so this is how is the uh, fingerprint and security options like the auto face unlock so guys talking about the performance the performance is like 100 percent it's really great rom snappy smooth everything works really well but now while playing page i uh, pubg sorry not page now while playing pubg i had some issues like it was having some glitches at the first game then i just rebooted my device and tried it was working fine but had some glitches and lag so yeah just recommended uh, to tell you guys that if you want to play pubg then yeah you need to take a look at these things if it's lagging somewhere then you may die at some point but yeah this is how is the performance and also i took the battery screenshot so let's take a look here uh so I just charged, this is the first boot, so from 48 or 47% I got this uh, 
3 hours 42 minutes for up to 6 percent so yeah this is a good battery for me you can see 11 hours ago uh, like it's it's yesterday screenshots but it's a really great rom with uh, really cool battery life and also it's LOS based so we get all of the LOS features the trust and all the shit and also we have this AICP extra so that will be a cool very rom and yep that's it for my review and the installation is pretty simple just flash it through TWRP but yes before it back up your data and swipe uh, sorry wipe all of the data older data the system and all breakage and things and yep then flash your ASCP ROM and G apps and then enjoy so that's it for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button and if you want more videos about the Redmi Note 5 the Redmi 5 plus just subscribe to the channel so bye bye I'll see you guys in the next one then bye bye enjoy ASCP